All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, thanks for joining me here in the garage. So this is my 2013 Tesla Model S 85. I just picked this up. This is kind of my project vehicle. Uh, one thing that happens when you buy, a, this can happen with either a used or a new electric car, uh, Tesla's now specifically. Sometimes it might, might not come with a charging cord. This car, when it was new, had a charging cord included with it and had adapters that you could charge with a regular 110 volt or a 240 outlet. When I bought this, this vehicle, there is no charging cord at all. And so I have to f find out or, or try to get some kind of charging solution for it. Also, with a lot of new electric cars as well, they're not supplying the, the home charging equipment. Or, a, or even a mobile charging equipment with the car. You have to buy that separately. And a lot of times, you know, they're, they're a little pricey. So we've got a charging station here from Wolfbox. We're gonna go through this. We're gonna get it installed and see how it charges on this car. If you're considering uh, an electric car, obviously you wanna have the charging at home. That's the most convenient. In, in my uh, garage here, I have an outlet, the, the 240 outlet. It's the NEMA 1450 plug. Uh, it's 240 volts. Mine's on a 50 amp breaker. And so that means I can charge it about 40 40 amps. You can only charge, you only safely should charge about 80% of your breaker rating. So if you have a 50 amp breaker, 40 is what you should be charging at. This charger that we're going to look at here today, this is from Wolfbox. They're, they've partnered with the, with the channel for this video. Uh, we're going to try this out and show you, show you how this works, some of the cool features, but it can charge up to 50 amps. So if you have a 60 amp breaker, you could get close to the probably 48 amps uh, charging with this. So that's going to give you really good charging speeds. So this is what you get when you order the, when you order this. Now this is a universal charger because it has the this is the J1772 plug here. It's got a nice rubber cap on the end. For Teslas, you need to use an adapter. Most other cars, you'll be able to plug this right into. So the nice thing is you'll be able to charge most electric cars at your home with this kind of plug. And then on the other side, you can see on the, the other side of the, of the box here, we have the NEMA 1450 plug. So this is the kind of plug that I have this outlet already installed in my garage. And this is probably the ideal way to go if you're looking at charging your car. Just get a 1450 because a lot of chargers are compatible with that type that style of plug so this will plug into the wall and then we'll mount this to the wall it has a nice bracket here we just will mount that right to the wall this will slip on that and it has a nice plug holder so when the plug's not in use the plug will just clip right on there under the wall and it has a nice loop on the top that the cord can coil up on so you can kind of keep the cord managed and out of the way when you're not using that also it also has these nice ca cards, so it, it has a charging card. So let's say if you're using this at a maybe a public location or your business, you're installing this, and you want to control access to this, these cards will simply tap onto the box here, and you can start and stop charging this way. So if you want to give access to someone to charge their car, you hand them the card, they'll start it this way, and they can stop it this way. Instruction manual comes in here. It's very well written. Nice, uh, nice pictures here. It goes through the, the installation of this and setting this up. It also has these nice stickers that you can put onto the, the bottom of the charger or on your breaker box that shows you know, what amperage you're charging at. So right when we open up the instruction manual, it has a QR code to search for the Wolfbox EV app. So we're just going to scan the QR code, get the app. It is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, so we'll be able to connect it to, to our Wi-Fi network and we'll be able to uh, you know, Bluetooth it with our phone. So we're gonna download the app. On the app, once we download it, we can just log in. Uh, we'll need to set up just a username, password, enter your email, set up an account. All right, I just created an account. I'm gonna go into the app here. And we're gonna add device. So what we need to do is we need to wait, wait until we get it installed and plugged in where it's gonna be powered on that we can actually add it. So we'll, we'll do that once we get the installation done. I'm getting ready to mount the bracket to my wall, but there is some included hardware. You have two longer bolts. These are these can go in the top here, and they include the anchors in, if you're doing it into drywall directly. And we've got four bolts here that are going to go into this plug holder, and then you've got an extra one that's going to hold the uh, bracket down here on the bottom. So let's get this mounted on the wall. So here's my plug. I have this piece of wood. I, I cut this piece of wood out. It's about 14 inches uh, tall. And you can see here, this, this bracket's going to fit right on here. And the reason I did this is I have a stud here. Because the, these, these, both of these are not going to go into a stud, only one possibly could, I want these both into a stud to kind of uh, make it a more sturdier application. So you can use those anchors that are included, but I'm not going to use those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screw it in here. So I want to find the spot that these are going to go. I'm going to put the screws in. You don't want to tighten them all the way down because what you want to do is you want to lift these off. And then I'll screw this onto the back of the, the charger box. The box will then slip over those, uh, those like that. And then we'll be able to tighten it down once we have the box screwed on. I want this a little further down because the box sticks up probably about that far off of the, 
above this bracket. All right, that looks nice and level there. We don't, I don't want these all the way down right now. I need to be able to slip this off. So now that I have those in place, it's gonna tighten with, the, with a screw right there. All right, I'm gonna pre-drill that hole. So let's go put this on the back of the charger box. Here's the back of the charger box. These three little screws here we'll just thread in. So with the bracket secured on here, it's now ready to be slotted onto the wall. So I can just, All right, I've got that on like that. Now I can set screw down here on the bottom that I pre-drilled. It's nice and tight there. It's nice and secure. Get it ready to plug in so I can take off this plug guard here and I can get it plugged into the wall. And final installation part I need to do is I need to mount the this cable organizer to see what side I want to put this on. So we have the plug and the holder all secured here. You can use the uh, anchors to make sure this is, if it's going into drywall, to make sure that's nice and anchored. The plug goes right into there. This makes for a nice secured holding area for it. Add device. Searching, trying to find the device here. So we do want to enter our Wi-Fi information. And then once it's done that, it's being added. So it's just kind of doing like a uh, installation. All right, the charger box, Wolfbox EV charger has been successfully added. Okay, we can do an up, we want to do an update, new firmware. Update's complete. Now we go into the charging screen here. It can, it can detect the auto current. So we want to select the, I'm going to do 40 amps because I know my, that's the most I want to charge at. Plug and charge simply means that the, the, as soon as you plug the car in, it will start charging. So it just means that if this is outside your house or at a public location, it can be used without restriction. You can do scheduled charging. So there's some, if you want to set a different charging schedule there. Under settings here, you can put down the cost. You can put down, the, you can see the, the temperature. You can change the temperature, Fahrenheit, centigrade. The cost to charge so it can keep track of how much electricity you're using. Vehicle information down, mileage, and then you can turn on and off this indicator. See, there's an indicator switch here. I can turn that on or off. So if you don't want that on in your garage, you can you can have that off. Now if I turn off the plug to charge, I will have to swipe the card or activate it on the app in order to use that. So what I can do is if I come up here to the device and I swipe the RFID card, it will say I need to insert the cable into the car before I swipe this. This cord stretches almost 25 feet long, so it's really nice. I can I can go all the way over here. I can charge the back of this car or I can charge the to the back of that car. It makes it really versatile in stretching this to be able to charge from different low uh, different areas. So you do need an adapter to charge it for this with Tesla, but it is a universal charger otherwise. A lot of other electric cars you can just charge directly from this J1772 handle. So we insert that. On the screen here, it's going to ask either for Bluetooth or with the RFID card. So if I just scan the card, it will activate the charging. So this is a kind of a way to protect that. Or I could do it from the app, or I could just enable plug in to charge and I wouldn't have to worry about that. If this is in my garage and it's safe out of the out of uh, being tampered with, I wouldn't need to really use this uh, th the card or the Bluetooth way. So there are three different charging methods. One is you can use the RFID cards. There are two cards included. Remote control through the mobile app or the easiest way is the plug and charge where it just plugs in and charges, no authentication required. So here we have on the screen, we do have a indicator light, you know, kind of a green pulsating light indicating that it's charging. Uh, icon here, it shows the current and then the voltage, temperature. So it's got a, the, this charging screen has a nice look to it. Let's see how it looks inside the car. All right, I've got my charge limit set higher, so it's currently charging. Um, I can change it down. I can adjust my amperage here. But uh, here on the gauge cluster, we're getting about, uh, it's charging at 40 amps. Uh, it's charging at 28 miles in an hour, uh, 243 volts. This is, this is going to give me, you know, 25 to 30 miles of charge in an hour. And that's going to be enough to charge this car up in, you know, a few hours overnight. To stop charging, I can just lift up on this handle and it turns white, I can pull that out. Let's go charge, let's go try this on the Model Y and see what kind of speeds we get with that one as well. Okay, plugging in this Model Y here. So you can see how long this cord is. We have plenty of room to reach not only the whole length of the car, but beyond to really give it uh, some nice uh, options when you're charging. So here on the charging screen, we just plugged it in. It's just starting to charge right now. Uh, it's just kind of ramping up the amperage here. So here I am, I'm at 40, at 40 amps, 240 volts. It's charging at 36 miles in an hour. So that's pretty quick. This, this Model Y has a range of 
330 miles uh, total battery capacity. So uh, that's it's going to charge it pretty quick. So this is a this is a great charging solution for either car. All right, guys. So this is the Wolfbox charger. Uh, this is a great solution for really any EV, Tesla, or any other type of electric uh, electric vehicle to charge in your home. This is meant to be kind of like hardwired in your house. The nice thing is, is you don't have to wire it yourself. You just get an electrician to wire the plug for you, and then you just plug this in, and all you have to do is really mount these brackets, and you just and you plug it in. I like that it has the the card the card or you can access or you can allow access via the bluetooth with the, with the app that's going to allow it to be protected you can mount this outside you can have it access for public but it can be controlled who who uses the charger so guys well thanks for watching the video big shout out to wolfbox for partnering with us on this uh, vi this video see the link to this down below hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel see you in the next video thanks